Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to give you a lesson today on classifying rational numbers. We're going to be using a Venn diagram to show how rational numbers, integers, and whole numbers are related. A Venn diagram is a visual representation used to show the relationships between groups. First, let's look at an example of a Venn diagram that you should remember from elementary school. We're going to pretend that we made a survey of eight people's pets, and here are all of the pets. We will group these together and call them all pets. We can see that most people had cats and dogs, and we can group these together inside the bigger group and call them popular pets. I'm going to make one more group inside popular pets and call it favorites. Dogs are my favorites too. I note that you're used to seeing Venn diagrams that look like this where you have three circles that intersect in the middle. And I'm going to show you two different looking Venn diagrams that show the relationships of rational numbers. Here the circles are inside one another. That's because if you're in sixth grade, all numbers are rational numbers. So all of the different types of numbers are inside the big circle labeled rational numbers. When you get older, you'll find out there are other numbers except rational numbers. But for sixth grade, rational numbers is it. Let's look at the definition of each of the numbers in the circles. Whole numbers are all of the counting numbers including zero. An example would be zero, one, two, three, etc. Your baby cousin knows the counting numbers, but probably not zero. Integers are all of the sets of whole numbers, one, two, three, four, and their opposites. So the opposite of the whole number one is negative one. The opposite of two is negative two. All of these together make up integers. Rational numbers include all of the integers and everything in between. So let's look at some integers. They're both the whole numbers and their opposites. Both of these are integers. And everything in between would be one half is an example. It's between the whole numbers 0 and 1. So the only thing it is is a rational number. If you look at 2 and 1 half, it's between the whole numbers 2 and 3. So it's not a whole number. It's not an integer. It's only a rational number. And if you look at negative 1.2, it's between the integers negative 1 and negative 2. So it is only a rational number. But let's look at this. A zero is a whole number. Therefore, it's also in the integer group. And it's also a rational number. If you look at two, two is a whole number. It's also an integer and a rational number. Negative three, it's not a whole number. It's an integer. And therefore, it's also a rational number. Now I'm going to make a Venn diagram that has the number line inside of it so it's a bit easier to understand. First you have your whole numbers. Remember it includes zero. The integers include the whole numbers and their opposites. So the circle includes the whole numbers. Finally, you have rational numbers. And that's everything. Rational numbers include the whole numbers, integers, and all of the numbers in between the whole numbers and the integers. Now we're going to classify some numbers. Let's look at 2. 2 is a whole number. Therefore, it's also an integer. And it's also a rational number. Negative 8 is an integer. It's inside the red circle. That means it's also a rational number. 4.5 is not a whole number because it is between the whole numbers 4 and 5. 
Therefore, the only thing it can be is a rational number. Negative 1 and 1 half is not an integer because it's in between the integers negative 1 and negative 2. Therefore, it is only a rational number. Negative 10 halves is tricky. It's an integer because it's an improper fraction. And if you divide the numerator by the denominator, you get negative 5. And negative 5 is an integer. And if it's an integer, it's also a rational number. You did a great job.